All right, let's work on question 51 from exercise 29a. By considering the value of 1 plus x to the power of 2n when x equals to 1, prove that this expression is true. So of course, let's expand 1 plus x to the power of 2n. Okay, so that's our expansion. And the second part of the question, as you can see, we can see we can substitute x equals to 1 into this. So let's see what happens. So we get this after substituting x equals to 1. Okay, now we're still far from the answer. Now what we should do here is we should simplify this expression. Now remember um, a fact that using n choose r equals to n choose n minus r. Okay, this, using this identity, we can simplify this expression. Now, what does this mean? It means, it means 2n choose 2n is exactly the same as 2n choose 0. And 2n choose 2n minus 1 is exactly the same as 2n choose 1. Which means the first term equals to the last term, the second term equals to the second last term, the third term equals to the third last term, and so on. So, which means we have two lots of everything, except this middle term here, because this is the term that's exactly in the middle, and the previous term, which is 2n choose n minus 1, equals to the one on the right of this term, 2n choose n plus 1. So, we can do two lots of 2n choose 0, plus 2n choose 1, 2n choose 2, all the way up to 2n choose 2n. Now you can see that this is by itself, it doesn't double up. And But in this line I've included two lots of this, which means I need to subtract 2n choose n. I need to subtract that. And you can see here, now, why do I need to do that? Because this part here is exactly the same as this sigma expansion. Right, so that's this, that part is equal to this sigma expansion. So I'm, I'm going to rewrite this as 2 sum of from r equal to 0 to n, 2n choose r. Um, notice I've actually changed my notation here, but they are exactly the same. Now, our left-hand side still equals to 2 to the power of 2n. Now, what we need to do is we need to make this the subject, so which is this part. So what we should do is moving 2n choose n to the left-hand side. Okay, and we should expand this in this um, in factorial form.
Okay, let's finish off our question. So we have two And notice here, 2n minus n factorial equals to n factorial. Okay, and divide everything by 2, we have our answer. of the proof.